I'm out here picking off the dead flower heads. Tulips and day, or excuse me, day lilies. And I see my buddy over there, Mr. Woodchuck, Chucky the Woodchuck. The first time I noticed him, well, I guess noticed him not freaking out was when I was doing this yesterday. And I heard a noise and looked behind me, and there's a woodchuck, and he's really close. I'm like, oh. So I walked up on him, and he didn't seem too upset. So it's pretty interesting. I'll walk up on him again shortly. Can you see Cinnabon through the chairs? He spent a, well, a couple hours outside by himself. He just wandered out, so I let him up. He has his freedom, just like we do. <laughs> How appropriate for the fourth, huh? But I'll probably keep him in tonight for the fireworks at least for a while. He just pooped. He's still a little tired. I was told that after the vaccinations he'll be a little tired for a day or two, so. I didn't realize, I was kind of joking when I mentioned uh, we're anti-vaxxers. I didn't even know that was a thing for cats too because I've gotten a few comments of people saying you shouldn't vax cats because it'll make them Autistic, I think that's all BS, but that's just, uh, I do appreciate people's concerns though. If somebody believes in something and if it's, has any inkling of being true, I guess, to them, I do appreciate those concerns, but I don't believe they're real. And I know I'm definitely not a professional cat caregiver. Obviously, I don't think it really very few people are, but veterinarians are. So they do it for a living. I trust their judgment and actions. Right. I think uh, they do what's in the best interest of the animals. And I saw them interact with Cinnabon. You could tell they liked him. You know, they like all animals. You could just tell it's in their nature, which makes sense because they're veterinarians, vets. So, just wanted to let the d very few people even comment to that. Isn't that right? Mm hmm. He's a good kitty. Watching 10 Cloverfield Lane. It's pretty good so far. Very interesting. Very different from the first Cloverfield movie. I understand there's a third one too, but it's kind of strange from what I've heard, but I'll probably see it eventually. Simba, do you want to join me downstairs for the movie? Hmm? He hasn't been in a playing mood in a while. He's probably just still recovering. Yeah, he's tired, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Do you want to join me downstairs, buddy? If you want to stay up here, either way, I'm cool. It's cooler downstairs, I promise you that. Oh, get some hydration. That is good to stay hydrated. Here, get low on food too. We'll put a little bit in there, even though you probably don't need it, but you just gotta keep the kitty healthy. The vet said he's healthy, which is great. Go ahead and top off some food for him. Hey, buddy. Do you want a treat? Do you want a treat? You look like you want a treat. Let's get you a, little, a nice fancy feast treat, huh? I still got some of those left from before. Okay, ooh, what, what, oh, we got a couple. Which one did we pick today? Ooh, another tuna one. Mm -mm. Hand flaked tuna treats. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. Oh, well, he lost a flake. He lost a couple flakes. I probably should have put this in your food bowl. There you go. There's another one. Okay, for the rest of it, let's put it in your bowl, okay? There we go. Ah. Oh, there's a little bit there. Oh, no, it's still in there, buddy. Somebody was asking what a, what a burr looked like. I've described them, but I think I see one on cinema I can pull out that looks like it's fairly, like, not attached to a lot of hair. So I can show you what a burr looks like. I'll describe it, too, real quick. Again, just in case they missed it. Buddy, can you come over here? I want to see if that burr is still on you. I want to show people what a burr is. Can you come over here? No? Okay. Let's see if I can sneak it off of him. There it is. Oh, perfect. oh sorry. I don't know if I can get good lighting on it. Let's put it on the table. I got one here. Turn the light on. Ooh, it's going to be hard. That is what a burr looks like. Kind of greenish color. There's different kinds, all different kinds. 
It's like the the prickly side of a Velcro clasp or whatever. This is designed to attach to a furry animal. And then eventually as it breaks down, it drops off the animal or the animal pulls it off. And then the, the concept behind it is it gets buried somehow in time. It'll, it's a seed basically. That's my understanding anyway. They're a little, this one's not too bad. There's other ones that are super painful. This one's not bad. I'm squeezing it hard and it's not hurting, but it's, you know, it's a nuisance to the animals. But it's how certain plant species propagate. So here's your description. Try to get a clear visual on it without lighting. Let's see if it's better. Yeah, it's very small. That's a little bit smaller than a BB gun BB. It's, it's tiny. That's about as good as I can make that. That's what a burn looks like. I saw at least one comment asking that. You're busy grooming yourself, buddy. It is the 4th of July. I don't know when I'll post this video, but I'll probably keep him in at night, as I mentioned before. Unless he really wants to go out. He's a hunter. Looks like he wants to go out now. Hey, buddy, want to join me downstairs? Yeah? Want to watch a movie with me? Want to watch a movie? We'll play peekaboo with him. See if we can. Come here, buddy. Come here. Oh, 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 he's coming. He's coming. Hi. Well, thanks for joining me, almost. Oh, you want to be petted now, don't you? Good boy. Such a happy kitty. It is hot up here, my goodness. I can't wait to get the AC fixed. Next Wednesday, I leave work a couple hours early. Yeah. Get to see you, maybe. If you're around, you can meet the AC repair people, huh? Air conditioning repair people, yeah. They won't be the vet. They're the vet for the AC. <laughs> wanna, wanna join me downstairs, buddy? Where it's cool? Hmm? No? He's like, uh-uh, you're gonna try to trick me and go in the carrier again. Well, that'll be in a couple weeks for his uh, vaccine boosters. I know some of you are gonna freak out about that, but that's okay. I'm assuming you're not veterinarians. Buddy, want to come downstairs? Or we'll play peekaboo. He almost always falls for that. I should say fall for it. I'm not trying to do anything bad. Oh, there he is. Oh, no. Oh. What is that? Is that a kitty cat? Look at his tail. Oh, yeah. People want uh, more videos of just his tail, which is interesting. But we'll see if he can capture more of that. Sit him on. Oh, oh, no. Usually just there we go. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Well, how nice of you to join. Ooh. Want to lay down your blanket? No. Do you want to control the remote? Yeah. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and get back to the movie. I'm sure he's gonna probably just cut and hunker down and chill down here for a bit, especially since he realizes how much cool it is down here. <laughs> hey buddy. Looks like he wants to go upstairs. Where are you going? Oh. Wanna chill upstairs? Yeah. It's hot up here. Wanna go outside again, buddy? Or are you hungry? Wanna go outside? Okay, I'll go with you. Not sure. What a nice day. I don't see our little woodchuck friend. How you doing, buddy? You like it over here? Yeah. It's sunny, isn't it? It's sunny and hot. Hmm. Yeah. Where'd you go? Oh, there you are. It's gotta be like close to ninety out here. 
which by my Michigan standards is pretty hot. You can sit up there, buddy. Yeah. He probably just wants to do some sunbathing. going under the deck. He likes to hang out there. <laughs> it's probably where he used to hang out all the time back uh, before he would come around inside. It's like his original home, I guess. And this one, he doesn't use this this time of year, which makes sense because, well, it's really hot. So we'll go ahead and lead him to it. So I mentioned that woodchuck in this video earlier, just briefly, and he normally hangs out around that oak tree in front of the shed, and he lives on, he or she lives under the shed. And I'm going to show you a video I took recently of him where I believe his or her leg is injured, which is why he moves so weird. And got maybe it has something to do with why he lets me get so close, because it's very unusual for a woodchuck to let you get that close. So, yeah, I guess let me know what your thoughts are on that. This video I'll post after I post the other videos of the woodchuck. It's kind of interesting. Hey, dude. Hi. I just get right up to that thing. Hey, buddy. Hmm? Are you injured or something? Huh. Doesn't move very well. I think he's special. Huh. Yeah, there's something wrong with him. This might be injured. Oh, mosquitoes, my goodness. All right, I'll leave my buddy alone. All right. You're a nice little woodchuck, aren't you? Chucky the woodchuck with a bunch of flies on you. He seems kind of perturbed. Huh. His leg looks messed up. I'll leave him alone. He's probably afraid. Huh. All right, see you, buddy. Bye-bye.